Hey everyone, I'm Aisha Dang and you are watching my 10 tips for using a sheet mask. So sheet masking is huge right now. Everyone does it. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I basically do it all the time. I am going to do a video about my favorite sheet masks because that video is highly requested. But first, I figured that before I go into the sheet masks I love, it would be really important to just kind of do a sheet mask 101. What's important, what you need to know, kind of just the basics of sheet masking. All right, so let's just jump on in. Here are my 10 tips and things you need to know. All right, the first thing is to know your skin. This is not only an important first step to kind of just figure out what sheet masks you should look into in the first place, but it's also good because sometimes things that people recommend you do don't necessarily work for your skin type. So for instance, try to sheet mask every single day. That's a huge thing. Sheet masking every day is going to change your skin. And I know that works with some people, but for people like me, my skin type is sensitive. So if I were to do that every day, in fact, I did do it every day for seven days, my skin got worse. It got clogged up. It got pimply. There was little bumps under my skin. So I know I'm doing a sheet mask video, but just because someone says that you should do something doesn't necessarily mean that it's best for your skin type. So know what kind of skin that you have and figure out your own special routine um, guided by the tips and tricks that you see. All right, so tip number two is to choose the best sheet mask for your skin type. Now there is a sheet mask for everything, literally everything. Tightness, drying, brightening, moisturizing, uh, acne prone, anti-aging. There is a sheet mask for everything under the sun. So if you have dry skin, a hydrating sheet mask is the way you want to go because then it will have ingredients that will help retain moisture into your skin. So while you can look at the ingredients list, to me, um, sometimes it gets kind of confusing. So when you're looking for a sheet mask for um, dry skin, look for something that has drench, nourish, hydrating, just look for keywords like that. Nourishing, vitamin E is really important. Clearly, I'm very much into uh, moisturizing. For dull skin sheet masks with vitamin C is really great because it exfoliates and brightens while moisturizing, so that's great. Other keywords besides brightening, illuminating, skin radiance, brightening. And then for sensitive skin, look for sheet masks with anti-inflammatory ingredients in them, like green tea, which um, kind of calms down your complexion. So um, green tea, like I said, is good. Uh, I really like this mask from Cremor Lab. And then uh, Soothe, Restore. My recommendation is you can't really go wrong with hydrating masks. Once your skin is well hydrated, a lot of things fall into place. So even if you are looking for something anti-aging, once your skin is hydrated, it just plumps up, fine lines kind of dissipate. All right, tip number three is to store your sheet masks in the fridge. This is a great tip, especially now because it's summertime and it'll help cool your skin. But just just in general, you always want to store your sheet masks in the fridge because again, not only will this cool down your skin, but it also tighten your pores while hydrating. So just do it. The next tip, tip number four, is to wash your face before applying a sheet mask. Please, please, please. It is really important to prep your skin to receive all the essence and essential vitamins and minerals that your skin is going to get once you put on a sheet mask. So you have to wash your face. Don't ever put a sheet mask on a dirty face. So I use the double cleanse technique with oil and then foam. Exfoliate your skin. I'm not exfoliating tonight because I did it a couple nights ago, so I'm pacing out my exfoliation. But you definitely want to tone. Really helps prepare your skin 
to receive the ingredients that you're gonna put on top of it. So toning before sheet masking, which is adding really um, intense essence into your skin all at once is really important. Number five um, is to patch test. And this is something people overlook a lot and frankly, I overlook it all the time because when I open a new sheet mask, I just wanna put it on and test it on immediately. But sometimes that might not necessarily be the best idea, especially if it's a new brand. Um, you're testing out a new ingredient that you've never used or you just have really sensitive skin. I would highly recommend um, testing a patch of the essence in the sheet mask on your skin before applying the whole sheet mask on because in case you have some kind of reaction to it, at least it's um, just in one area versus your entire face. Wait a couple minutes and if everything's good to go, nothing's itching, nothing's burning, then I go ahead and apply the entire sheet mask. Tip number six is to smooth out the sheet mask. I'm not gonna lie, sheet mask application can be kind of tricky since it's one size fits all, so you have to kind of maneuver the sheet mask to make sure that everything fits, but no matter what, you wanna smooth out your sheet mask just to make sure that there are no bubbles. Just ensure that the mask touches every part of your skin and no area is left behind. Tip number seven is to set a timer. This is incredibly important because I feel like sometimes people think the longer that you leave a sheet mask on, the better your skin is gonna be. And let me tell you, that is not necessarily the case. I mean, we've seen that viral video of that girl, I think she like fell asleep with her sheet mask on and it was basically glued to her face and that is what happens when the moisture is sucked out of that sheet mask. The essence that you originally put on your skin has since then evaporated and not only has the essence evaporated but any moisture that was previously in your skin has evaporated as well so you um, kind of just left your skin in a worse position than when you started. So look at the instructions, set a timer. Normally sheet masks um, will require you to leave it on from anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. So read the instructions, make sure you don't go over that time, set a timer and that because that is really important. Tip number eight is to use the extra essence in your sheet mask bag and put it all over your body. Uh, some people like to reuse their sheet masks after one application. They'll leave the leftover essence in the bag and just put you, the sheet mask back in and reuse it one more time. To me, uh, that's not really sanitary, but I know a lot of people who do it, which is totally fine. But what I like to do is, once I put my sheet mask on, the leftover essence that's in the bag, I like to just slather it all over my body. My neck, my chest, my arms, my legs, every part of my body, needs that kind of moisture and vitamin and minerals that the essence has. So not only is my face gonna look super fabulous in 30 minutes, but my skin is as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip number nine, once you are done sheet masking, tap the excess essence back into your skin. Tap, 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 tap. You want your skin to fully soak up all that goodiness. So it might take a while. You'll know when your skin has fully absorbed, absorbed all the essence, but make sure to do that. And the last tip, tip number 10, which is incredibly important, do not wash your face after sheet masking. Washing your face after you sheet mask is like removing your nail polish after getting your nails done. There's no point. What was the point of doing it? You wanna keep all that essence in your skin. And I know that it's kind of like a weird sensation, like your skin feels sticky, so it might just feel natural for you to wash it off, but don't. That is the good stuff, honey. That's why I only apply sheet masks at night. Um, that way, once I take it off, I can just go straight to sleep and then I wake up with really, really well moisturized skin. It's also important to apply moisturizer onto your skin after your skin has soaked up all that essence because you just wanna put an extra barrier around your skin to make sure that essence stays in there and lives in your skin and you just wake up looking and feeling like Beyonce.
essentially. Or that's at least what I wanna wake up looking like. So don't wash your face, pat in the essence and seal in that essence sexiness with a moisturizer. All right, everyone, so those are my 10 tips for using a sheet mask. Um, I hope this really helped you on your sheet mask journey. I know there are a lot of videos and a lot of articles on this topic. So if you have any more tips that you would love to add, please let us know in the comments. Like I said, I do plan on doing a uh, top favorite sheet mask and face mask video coming soon. It's just hard for me to narrow down because I literally like, my bathroom is ridiculous. It's basically all sheet masks and face masks. So I'm in the process of narrowing down my favorites. So stay tuned for that video. I'm Misha Dane. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.